do I need to take to get a beard like yours? Well, you happen to be in luck. <laughs> I have some experience with growing a beard like my own, and I do have my number one tip for what you should be taking if you wanna get a beard of this size, this density, this shape, and a couple of additional details that will kind of support that main statement and hopefully help you guys reach your beard goals. Now, speaking of goals, I know some of you are like, huh? Yeah, I just did a video on Wednesday about my 2023 beard goals. Hope you guys caught that. And this definitely is like an extension of that video. So hopefully you guys are enjoying the content this week and kind of how they're related. But I do want to share this information with you guys, but first should introduce myself. My name is Dancy Bearded, and I would also like to say thank Thank you, give you this little welcome to the video. If you like this channel, if you like this content, or even if you're like, I don't really know what's going on, but I like the vibes here, please hit that little thumbs up button, aka the like button, to show YouTube that you do enjoy this content. And of course, if you're new here, it would mean a lot to me if you considered subscribing, if you like learning about beards. If beards aren't your thing, it may not be the best subscription for you, and a thank you to those returning subscribers. So let's hit the actual detail first, and then give some little extra add-ons afterwards. I believe if you want a beard like mine or anywhere in between where you're at and where this beard is or beyond, I do believe and I know the most important thing that you can take is a pill. It's a patience pill. You gotta relax. The number one thing that stops people from reaching their beard goals is lack of patience. They want that instant gratification. They want results to show on social media right away. Well, this is a slow game. If I were to start over tomorrow, for most people, this is going to be about two years worth of growth. Mine might be a little bit faster because of all the things that I do and genetics and so many things play a part, but it's about two years worth of growth. So if you're like, oh man, I'm about halfway to Dan's beard, you're going to need with no trimming accounted for at least another year of growth to get here. That requires patience. That requires getting through awkward phases, through bad styling days, through days where you just don't feel like your beard looks good, feels good. Maybe you just don't feel like styling it. The key is you need to stop trimming your beard at the same rate it grows, or even worse, trimming it more frequently than the rate of growth. If it is growing a half inch a month, and you are trimming, let's say, every six months, if you are trimming three inches off, you're not going to gain any length. I'm not great at math, but I think I did that one correctly. You got to kind of figure out your rate of growth and make sure that you're not over trimming for that. Now I do trims every three to five, six months, somewhere in that range, just depending on how it feels, but I'm never taking off more or faster than what it grows. I either like to maintain or go a little bit longer than where I was before. And that's so important, you guys. How many people do you think start with a beard goal? Start with whether it's a beard model online or some content creator or some actor and they say, I want that beard. And then along the way, they're just like, ah, I can't reach it. And they just, they buzz it off. You would be amazed at what the difference of a year does or two years or three years, even with trims along the way, as long as you're letting it grow, You'd be shocked at the density that starts to fill out for a lot of people. You'd be shocked at how little areas that you thought were weak or patchy or thin start to cover themselves with the other areas and it starts to look more full. It starts to look like a different thing and you'd be surprised at what time can do for your actual beard potential. Most of you know from watching this channel, I've said it many times, the average male that can grow a beard, they're peak beard potential is at 42 years old. It's the late 30s into their early 40s. That's when you're going to start optimizing your DHT and going to be the most sensitive to it and can have the best beard possible. So let's say you are growing at 34 years old and you're like, ah, I'm just not getting there. 35, it's going to be a little bit better. 36, it's going to be even better. So it can be just that time that it takes to get the best beard genetics possible. Now, if you're like, Dan, I'm 50, I'm out. What can I do? It can also improve as your health improves. Here's the biggest line of this entire video. If you guys can write one down, if you can take a little screen recording, this is really important. To reach a beard like this, you, we're going to talk about some other factors, but here's the most important thing right now, is you need to make sure you are treating your beard from the inside first and then the outside. Make sure you are lowering your stress, drinking enough water, those things internally make all the difference in the world. Pair that with patience. That's another internal trait. That makes a big difference. 
please keep that in mind. Now, other things. Yeah, you can take biotin. That's a huge benefit to a faster rate of growth. If you don't know what that is, just search after this video, Dancy Bearded Biotin. I have several videos on what it is, when to take it, how much to take it, things to avoid like caffeine when you're taking it, all sorts of information. But essentially that's vitamin B7. That is going to boost your keratin production, which is our nails and our hair. And it's going to help the rate of growth of your beard for almost everybody. Check those ones out. I think that will help you. Other things that you can do is again, make sure you're just being healthy. Take other supplements that are good for your body, good for your hair, good for your skin. That's going to help your beard. Good quality products, good quality tools, a healthy routine of not being too aggressive, but also cleaning it properly, nourishing it properly. All of those matter for beard growth and beard health. Now it's easy to take the ignorant approach and have the lazy response like, oh, that's a bunch of hooey. I don't even know what hooey is, but that's a bunch of hooey. That doesn't matter. It's all genetics. No, genetics play a part. It plays a massive part. If you don't have the genetics to get to a beard like this, you don't have the follicles, you don't have the hair, the spacing, the growth, of course, it's just not going to be in the playbook for you. However, if you do have the genetics, all of these little different things, good oils, good washes, biotin, other vitamins, making sure you're hydrated, lowering your stress. Those all add up to helping you reach your ceiling where most of us don't ever get to that ceiling. So just something to think about. The most important thing you can do is be patient. Take care of yourself from the inside. Take care of yourself from the outside. And this channel is full of literally thousands of videos on every topic you can imagine for a beard. And if there's not a topic, there's something you're wondering and you searched Dancy Bearded, then the topic and you can't find it, leave a comment down below. The way most of my ideas are birthed are by listening to you guys. Some of them pop up randomly, but most of them are saying, hey Dan, what about this? And I'm like, hey, I haven't covered that. Let me look into it. Let me think about it. Let me make a video for you guys. And you guys are helping out by spreading that content. So please let me know down below your thoughts, your questions, and of course, your ideas. Let's ride into this 2023 beard season of the fall and winter, having the best potential beards possible. I want to say thank you guys for watching this video. Cannot wait to read these comments. You guys are absolutely amazing. And above all, make sure you're enjoying this journey. If your beard is not making you confident, let's make some changes. Reach out. I would love to help you. This is about enjoying it every step of the way. I sure as heck do, and I hope you guys do as well. Thank you for watching. Please stay bearded and stay positive.